I must inform for Cestus while I can. I have a slight problem with you contacting Lord Forsistus. He realized what I'm trying to do. Rodile! You... You deceived me! There was no order to eliminate the Chosen, was there? <laughs> Collecting gods for me? Attempting to eliminate the Chosen for me? You've been quite useful, Magnus. Farewell! I hope you enjoy the afterlife! Damn it! Lord Yggdrasil! Glory to the coming age of half-elves! Okay. What happened to the captives? We've moved them all to Palmacosta. Then Neil, please get out of here too! Hurry! Huh? What? It's going to explode! Ah, ah. All right, GameCube graphics. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, I mean, Rain, maybe you should have made it for more than 10 minutes. I'm just glad everyone's all right. Oh, what about Chocolat? I think she was taken to another location. I see. If she's alright, she can still be rescued. Yes, if you learn Chocolate's location, please let us know immediately. Even Dora really wanted to save her. Right, I swear we'll find her. Also, the captives have something called an x spirit embedded in them. It's dangerous to leave them as they are now. You need to send a letter in my name to a dwarf named Dirk, who lives in Azalea. I'm sure he'll help you get them removed. Dirk and Azalea, I understand. Then I shall go back to the city. Please stop by Paul and Costa and visit, visit us again anytime. Yeah, baby. So we're done with this place. 37 uh, status, Lloyd. Let's look at my combo is because that was awesome. TP. I don't need TP. I, what, I already have health, strength, and defense, which is all I care about for my main character. However, so is Kratos. Oh, I didn't even know that. He got magic swords. Crap. Brotherly love. T health. Yeah, why am I not on this? Oh, because that's health and defense that he's on. Yeah, no, I want sorcerer. I might have gotten these off the clock. I can't remember. I want her to be TP and intelligence, basically. So, yeah, chosen's a good status for her. Rain. She needs... She really needs just TP. So I got TP and intelligence, which is actually what I would want to ha her to have anyways. Makes sense. Magnus, hmm. What is it, Lloyd? Those last things he said were kind of strange. You mean about being deceived? I wonder what he was deceived by. There's no way to know now. Oh crap, wrong voice. Oh, I know! What? No what? Magnus thought the fake chosen group was us. Ah, I see. Then everyone would make sense. No, it doesn't. If that was the case, the imposters would have been killed by now. Just as Rain said, there's no way for us to know now. But Magnus is dead. Isn't that enough? Yeah, I guess so. Still, I really thought we'd figured it out. Okay, now that we've finished that, there's just a couple more things I'd like to do. Because I have been having some problems with at least that whole Palmacosta Ranch recording session. So I'd like to kind of save at the House of Salvation and get at least this chapter kind of done. It's not really a chapter, but this little section of the game done. Anyways, let's talk to these guys about the spiritual statue. You say you want the spiritual statue? I know it's a brazen request, but it's for the world regeneration. Please, Father. If the Chosen asks, we will, of course, not hesitate to lend our aid. Bring the statue here. Ah, uh, my, my most humble apologies. 
This spiritual statue is actually a fake I had placed here. What? What are you talking about? I lost the real spiritual statue during the pilgrimage a year ago. The pilgrimage is the Church of Martel's spiritual training journey, right? Why would you take the statue along with you? The halo on the head of the spiritual statue is made of a diamond. We always take it with us when we go out on pilgrimages in order to protect it from thieves. On the trip last year, I followed that custom as usual and brought the spiritual statue with me to Thoda Island, but there I accidentally dropped it into the geyser. Oh gosh, why did you have to take it to a place like that? I'm terribly sorry. I was so moved upon seeing the geyser for the first time. By the time I realized it, the statue had fallen onto the rocks on the other side of the geyser. Desperate, I paid a visit to a dwarf who makes his who lives in his alien had to make something just like it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd be Dirk. It's very good work. Just what I'd expect from Dirk. Dad, what just what, just what kind of jobs are you doing? Well then, what shall we do now? Do you think the fake will fool that old man? Nah. That doesn't seem likely. It's well built, but it's still a fake, as is the diamond. Um, how about if we go get the real one? You want to go all the way to Thoda Island? And on top of that, the rocky area is on the other side of the geyser, correct? Y yes I'll go get it. Geysers erupt with boiling water. It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. You're stupid, Lloyd. I bet you've forgotten everything we studied in geology. Shut up! Sad. If only we could stop the geyser. I've heard that the eruption cycle of the Thoda Island geyser is quite short. I wonder if we can seal it with something. Aha! That's it! We'll just have Gina seal it with the magic. Magic? How? Like cover it with ice or something. Okay, I'll give it a try. You'd better be grateful. Dwarven vow number one. Let's all work together for a peaceful world. We're counting on you, Mr. Genius Magician. Okay, so how, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up here. Save and pick it up in a little bit. Over and out. Alright, let's... Okay, n now. This, this starts to be the fun part, I believe, because we finally get out of this region. For you guys, I've been looking at it. Gosh, it's got to be so great for you guys to just watch me do this and not actually see me level up. Okay, someday. Say, Genus, was I wrong after all? Are you talking about chocolate? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll understand someday. I hope so. Um. Yeah, because it's only been like, what, like four hours for you guys, but it's been like, tw or no, I think it's been like six or seven hours, but it's actually been like 12 hours in terms of how much I've actually been recording. So, that's kind of cool. You guys get to skip out on all of my fun uh, mass leveling that I'm doing. Is there anything over there? I don't remember. It's a corner. Nope, nothing over there. Alright, so now we need to go to the Thoda Geyser. Uh, I have yet to really hit this area because this area right here is the Thoda Dock. I already knew about that. Um, so is there anything down here? Over here? No, there's not. Okay. You have to be off of Noish in order for it to register. Okay, the Thoda Dock. Thoda Island Sightseeing Boat Dock. Woof! Alright, let's head in. Vaguely remember this. Is this another save? It is. Okay, I don't need to heal up. Let's talk to you. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the Thoda Island Sightseeing Boat Dock. This is the most convenient, well, the only way to view the Thoda Geyser. It will be 200 gold for a round trip. Would you like to use the boat? Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love these boats. It's a wash tub? Yup, it's a wash tub. Wash tubs. Hmm. Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. Always the optimist, Colette. Love it. I'm going to wait here. Go on ahead without me. 
What's wrong, Professor Sage? Nothing. I'm not getting in that thing. <laughs> it looks fun. Come on, let's get in. Yeah, Rain. Ah! <gasps> ah. Professor Sage, are you afraid of water or something? I I was just starting to say, ah, this should be fun. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> That's great.